Hey guys, it's Donald J. DeGabble here, and today I'm explaining to you guys a theory discovered by an industrial designer, Don Lemon, of why the iPhone 5 and its prototypes that we've seen so far, some parts leaked around the web, why it has two glass stripes on the top and on the bottom of the back panel. So, as you guys know, there have been some designs going around, and a lot of you said, oh, it looks bad, why do they have to do that? At first, I did ask that question as well, but as soon as industrial designer Don Lemon, um, explained why Apple would do that, it started to kind of make sense and I started to see the concept of why they do that. So like he explained, the iPhone 4 uses a satellite signal, has two bands, and one of it is um, on the side, going through the side. That's why we have the death grip problem where we're covering the antenna and it's having problem transmitting, resulting in a drop of signal or bars. Um, in the iPhone 4S or in the CDMA version, the Verizon version of the iPhone 4, apparently they changed the um, band design to a U-shaped band on the top and on the bottom and on the sides it's just an aluminum or metal piece just to complete the design so it doesn't look bad. However, the cell signals are actually coming off the top and the bottom. That was with the Verizon iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4s so that's why we didn't see the death grip problem on the iPhone 4s and there was a dual band um, cell signal so what he says is that this new iPhone will also feature that a top and the bottom however those metal bands are just enough um, as you can see to complete the design on the top and the bottom and as you know, there's a cellular signal and there's also the Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and a rumor of an NFC signal that's going to be needed. So what he's saying is that the top and the bottom U-shaped band, which we predict will be liquid metal from the rumors, aluminum, whatever Apple decides to use, um, those will be the cellular one on the top and the cellular two signal on the bottom and on the back the strips would be the NFC, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all those other important things and what he thinks the material will be made out of is um, Corning's Gorilla Glass or Gorilla Glass 2 because as you know the iPhone does crack pretty easily and in a test between the Samsung Galaxy S3 screen and the iPhone 4 screen the Samsung Galaxy S3 using a Corning Gorilla Glass 2 it completely destroyed it and even after being dragged on a road by a car, it didn't have a single mark on it, so I'm definitely, definitely expecting Apple to ramp up the durability, and really, the only issue I think um, I have to talk about um, on this design is, you know that metal piece that's going in between the two glass bands? Will that be replaceable? Because from what it looks like, it seems like if you would drop it, it would probably dent or something. But I really, from looking at the design, I really can't find anywhere to find a way to take it apart. Apart from the fact um, of taking it out from the screen, kind of like the iPod Touch 2G, kind of like a clamshell style device in terms of disassembly, if you know what I'm talking about. So. Please let me know what you guys think about this, leave a comment below, whether you like the design or not, whether you think this is a good logical guess by the industrial designer. So thanks for watching guys, please remember to subscribe, I will be doing many more iPhone 5 videos, I'll see you in my next one. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.